So this name Al Qarib is extraordinary, and we f are puzzled by it. We can understand the one who begins and the one who brings back. We can understand the one who gives life and the one who gives death. This sounds like a difficult name, Al Qarib, the one who is near and is never far. In what sense is he Qarib? Where is he? Well, as soon as you say where, you have already made a foundational mistake. When is he? Well, those are qualities of the world of space and time which he himself has made and to which he is not subject. But he is the one who is munazza, subhanallah, amma isifun. He is high above anything that they attribute to him. So qareeb, what does it mean for him to be close? And this comes up a lot in the Qur'an. Aqrabu ilayhi min hablil warid. God is nearer to man than his jugular vein, which is part of us, which is essential. If it's cut, you die. It's part of your essence. In what sense? Close. Sometimes I may feel very ba'id, far from him. Uzak, you say uzak? Yeah, uzak, he seems, he says, he is qareeb, but I feel far from him. I've done badly in my exams. My mother is sick. The headlines depress me. I feel that we're abandoned. Where is al qareeb Well, this high maqam, which we're talking about, enables us to see his closeness even in the difficult things. In Turkish, they say, khushtur bana senden gelen ya konja gül ya diken Ya bir hullet, ya bir kefen, kahren da khush, lutfun da khush. It means something like, whatever comes to me from you is good for me. Whether it be the rose or the thorn, whether it be a royal robe that the king gives me and invests me in, or whether it be my winding sheet, my shroud, my kefen, 